What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we've got to talk about the Tesla bot that was just unveiled, the humanoid robot that Tesla showed us all at AI Day, which will be used to complete boring and repetitive and dangerous tasks so us humans don't have to do it. This is literally the start of a Black Mirror episode and also the biggest new line expansion of Tesla's business that we have seen in years, potentially adding trillions of dollars to their market capitalization, a huge reason that I'm even more bullish on the stock than ever. Um, this is going to be an entirely new division for Tesla where they launch these humanoid robots. They're going to be walking around our cities. We're going to be talking to them, telling them what to do for us. This is literally what is happening. This is a blowing my mind. So if you can sleep it under a rock, yesterday Tesla holds the AI day, artificial intelligence day for Tesla to show us what they're up to. The start of this technology is full self-driving beta, essentially training the eight cameras that are around the car to use like our eyes and our brain to perceive the world around them, to be able to have the car drive itself. This event was intended for engineers as a recruiting event to hiring to hire the most badass people in the world to pull off this incredible technological feat. Um, they didn't even invite any media or press except last minute they did, including me. I couldn't make it like the FOMO and the heartbreak is, is out of control, honestly. I wish I could have been there. But anyway, so they hold this event. It is so in-depth. It is so technical. Like, the amount I understood was almost none. Like, it was so, in, like, complicated and just insanely in-depth. In um, really trying to show under the hood of what's going on behind this technology. I mean, the biggest gist that I took away from it is Tesla's moving more and more um, from this 2D sort of images, you know, the car using their cameras to see images towards video and get, creating this true understanding um, of where it is in vector space. And, you know, Tesla used to think of their comp cars as computers on wheels, but now they're thinking of them as sentient or semi-sentient robots on wheels. So that's a huge sort of different thing. But essentially all of this, you know, hour and a half presentation was showing us how the car car is starting to understand and perceive where it is in space and how they're evolving the technology behind that to make it more and more accurate. And so I thought this was fascinating in terms of, you know, boiling this down to what's good with the full self-driving program. First of all, I can't wait to get back to Seattle to try my new, you know, version 9.2 of FSD beta and see what's good with this tech on the ground. Um, but I th still think we're a year or two away, um, probably at least two or three years away from this truly being a level five fully autonomous robo taxi that can drive itself. There's even hints about a new self-driving chip coming in the Cybertruck um, because the current self-driving trip, uh, According to Elon Musk in this Q&A session said it could only be about two to 300% safer than the average human with this next chip being four times better, potentially, you know, way safer than, than a human driver. And that's going to truly what I think convinces governments to have us have those robo taxis. But so fascinating look under the hood. I'll put the link below. You can watch it and nerd out for yourself if you want. Um, but that was incredible. But the real game changer here is that that's just the first application of this technology. Once you have a robot that can see and perceive the world, what else can it do? What other applications can you have? And so Elon basically schemes up this Tesla humanoid robot. Um, we kind of knew this was coming, we were reading between the lines, but I mean, to see it actually happen and then to talk about why it's happening, it's gonna be this 5'8 robot, about 125 pounds. Um, it's gonna only move five miles an hour, so it's like slower than a human, so don't worry, it's not gonna be able to like, you can run, chase it or like run away from it and beat it up. They try to make that so it's not too scary Black Mirror style, but I thought that was pretty interesting. But I'm also like, how much heavy stuff is it gonna be able to pick up if it's weaker than me, right? Like, you know, <laughs> nah, but, um, really, really fascinating and essentially used to automate these small tasks. But Elon was basically saying, well, you know, we have the brain um, uh, or the full self-driving chip that we can put in the body of the, of the robot. And then we also have the Tesla vision so the robot can see and perceive the world. And that's the biggest challenge with these robots is you don't want to tell it line by line what to do. You just want to say, go to the store, get me some groceries. Yo, can you go get this for me? Can you do that for me? And it'll just go do it for you. So in the future, you know, here in Manhattan, we'll have all these little humanoid looking robots walking around doing tasks for us. You think about folding laundry, making your cappuccino, um, service in restaurants, um, you know, garbage pickup, just all of these little tasks that humans do that maybe we don't want to do. Like I was at McDonald's, don't, don't, don't ask. You know, I was at McDonald's and the just level of like slowness of the service because the employees were pissed off and just like leaving my order there and not dealing with it and doing it. And I'm literally like thinking like, oh my God, the Tesla humanoid robot would kill it at this job. So, and then Elon even comments about how UBI may be needed um, as these robots take off. And I think this is, could be a game changer for humanity. Elon says that all physical labor in the future may be a choice. And so you think about what that means for us, you know, unlocking huge amounts of creativity, unlocking huge amounts of our time to allow us to focus on bigger problems, be more creative, have new careers. As much as this is scary for disruption, us, I think the opportunity for what it will allow us to do with our time, so much of our time is wasted on these menial tasks, we don't even realize it. So much of the friction in the economy is wasted, so much energy and resources are wasted doing these tasks. Imagine if it wasn't, that's the opportunity this is going to solve. So it could be a huge game changer for humanity. It's a little bit scary, it's a little bit weird, but you think about what's happening in Japan, um, you know, and all, a lot of mature countries around the world having population collapse is the biggest risk. There's all these old people that don't know how to take care of them. These robots can really step up and fill that gap. Even in, in New York and the US, I'm seeing a huge shortage 
shortage in labor for restaurants and the service industry and stuff. And so this could solve that issue. Um, so, I mean, my biggest question though is Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to renewable energy. How does this do that? Um, you know, Tesla's cars are transitionist to green energy, then trucks, that's an amazing thing. And I've always, you know, get in trouble for bugging Elon about electric planes and electric boats. What's good with that? And he's like, well, we don't have the resources to focus on that. You know, I got enough on my plate but now they're doing this humanoid robot thing, but maybe that's because it's already up their alley with the FSD chip and the vision. But Elon's basically saying like, look, someone's gonna do this humanoid robot. We already have all the pieces, we're gonna do it. This is a game changer for the entire economy. The amount of shareholder wealth that this could create, this could be Tesla's, I think this will be Tesla's biggest market. This will be the biggest product they have, trillions of dollars of value, bigger than electric cars, electric trucks, self-driving cars, solar panels, batteries, is robots and robotic labor. Um, that's gonna be a multi-trillion dollar opportunity for the company. They could use those profits to fund all of their other stuff, which could be a huge accelerant of the mission. So that's a really interesting way to think about it. Um, but also I think this is a truly defining moment and day and era for Tesla, where they're not just the green energy company, they're the robotics company that's building these robots. It's in the future, when you think about the trajectory of what Tesla was, what products they would announce, this is a change in all of that. It's a growth, it's a new thing. It's like, they're still doing all this, but now they have this new thing, which is gonna unlock huge amounts of value. Think about the cash flow implications of this. I mean, literally, I'm not joking when I say multi-trillions of dollars of value, but that's maybe 10 years away. So it's gonna take a while. This first robot, V1, is not gonna be great. There's gonna be a lot of work to do on this, um, but eventually when they nail this, this is a home run product that is gonna change the world. And I think Tesla's gonna pull it off because of their pace of innovation. The team they have, the engineers they're gonna be able to hire because of this event are gonna be what allows them to pull this off and create this incredible um, product. And then the last thing I wanna leave y'all with is like, where does this go from here? You know, Elon has always said that AI um, and merging and like AI and super intelligence is one of our biggest threats, right? If that goes rogue. So it, I almost feel like he's manifesting this in a weird way by creating his own humanoid robots that are slow, that can't hurt us. And he wants to be the first with like good robots, but it's like, we're getting robots earlier because Elon's working on them. So I feel like we have good robots earlier versus bad robots later. Um, so that's what Elon's trying to manifest his own, you know, benevolent robot future. That's why they call it like Optimus or something like, like trying to do good. So I don't know, but you know, where does this all take us in a hundred years and 50 years? Where does this technology do? Um, you know, once I die, am I going to want to port my consciousness to my Neuralink and live in a Tesla robot's body? I don't know. It's something to leave y'all with. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's, this is insane. So I'm trying to think about when this works, what are the easiest tasks for this to automate? What are the first things this Tesla bot's gonna do? You know, I need y'all's help in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. This is an absolute game changer. This is such an outside the box thing. I don't think the media is getting as hyped about, like we're literally about to have robots walk around the streets. Like this is a total game changer. And it's just, I can't even fathom what the world in the future is gonna look like with all this, but it's blowing my mind. It's so exciting. And I truly think, you know, I don't, get excited about things that will change the future valuation trajectory of Tesla often. There's not many needle movers that a $600 billion valuation that can change the game. This is one of them. I'm gonna make a ton more videos about it. There's so much to unpack about AI Day. But this was an absolute game changer and I need your help in the comments below. So mean, what is Tesla gonna come up and do and disrupt with this humanoid robot? Because they didn't give us many clues about the first thing it's gonna do. So I need your help. This is Hyperchange. Love y'all. Ciao, have a great day.